A new method of traffic control may be coming to Attleboro. For some time, the city has been looking for ways to slow down drivers who use neighborhood streets as a shortcut between major roadways. Over the last several years, Massachusetts has begun to allow for the installation of a traffic calming device called a speed hump cushion. The speed humps allow for vehicles to travel over the cushions at speeds of 15 to 20 miles an hour without causing any passenger discomfort or stress on the vehicle. To find out more about the new devices, we spoke with Ward 1 City Councilor Walter Thibodeau. We need to have speed hump cushions on some of our residential side streets because they become very popular cut-through areas from um, off the main routes where there may be traffic backups um, either during commuter times or during holiday shopping times. We only have so many patrol cars that uh, can be used uh, within a certain area during a certain amount of time. Um, it, it leaves neighborhoods vulnerable to the cut-through traffic. So as an attempt to um, slow the traffic down, you can't really stop it altogether, uh, so you try to slow it down with what they call a traffic calming device. And one of those traffic calming devices uh, happens to be a speed hump cushion. It helps to keep the neighborhood uh, safer for children and the, and the neighbors who live within that uh, particular neighborhood and the side streets that connect with other main roads and it may act as a deterrent uh, towards them taking that shortcut at all. That's, that's the idea behind it. It appears to be a, uh, a, a rubber or a vinyl um, material which is um, interlocked. It has interlocking uh, pieces so that you can make them as wide of a um, obstacle as you wish to. The height of the um, speed hump cushion varies between six to eight inches in height from the regular road level and it, it, it's spread out approximately four to six feet so that it's a very gradual hump um, as opposed to a speed bump which you might experience going through a shopping center. The uh, speed hump cushion is a very gradual incline that bring you, brings you to the peak and then back down the other side. They're not allowed uh, to be installed on main roadways. So you couldn't put it on North Main Street or South Main Street or Park Street or County Street. Um, it's strictly designed as a calming device for um, neighborhood roadways. I know that the chief has a couple of areas um, that he has received um, complaints about that he wants to have as uh, test areas. And under our ordinances, we are allowed to um, do what we call an experimental ordinance. And that has a 30-day time limit on it. So um, he had previously talked about uh, Roy Avenue in South Attleboro and Holcott Street in, off of um, North Main Street as two areas in which he has received a lot of complaints. Um, the difference between what we're talking about now and what we were talking about last year before we ran out of time uh, weather-wise um, is that uh, what the chief plans on doing is collecting data um, from a, um, a counting machine. Or there are, there are other machines, for instance, you may be familiar with the um, the screen that's mounted on a trailer which, which is left on the side of the roadway and at the top of the screen it'll have the posted speed limit, uh, regular speed limit sign and then it'll tell you what speed you're traveling at. Well what most people don't know is that there is also a computer in there which keeps track of the speed limit of every vehicle that's going past that um, and uh, it breaks it into 15 minute increments tells you what speed that vehicle tr has traveled through there at. Um, it tells you whether it's a bicycle all the way up to an 18-wheel vehicle. Uh, so it breaks it down that way so that um, when the chief uh, gathers that information from different locations around the city, then he'll be able to make that determination as to whether or not um, which areas need it the most in first. Um, and that's when uh, he will start uh, installing them that way. We have uh, a draft of an ordinance right now which will give the police chief 
the authority, first of all, to collect the data and make a determination um, uh, based on his expertise and as the chief uh, traffic officer in the city, um, he would, it would be um, within his purview to go ahead and, and authority to go ahead and install these on a seasonal basis. Um, it, that would call for a public hearing um, and, and whatever public input we get at that point, um, we, would have, we would take that into consideration and maybe change some of the existing language um, to fit uh, some of the neighborhoods that maybe have special circumstances that we're not thinking about at this point in time, but that would be brought to our attention through the public hearing process. This is a, is a proven method of a calming device. Seems like everything starts on the west coast and works its way towards the east coast. Well, these are uh, proven measures uh, from the uh, west coast and has just recently been approved in Massachusetts as of um, 2012. And there are very few installations across the state because it is that new. And uh, we're fortunate in Attleboro that we have some uh, foresighted people who uh, are looking for solutions to problems which have existed for a long time, but we haven't had the tools to work with to uh, be able to implement um, those changes uh, to make it safer for folks in their own neighborhood. If, um, if they wanted to participate in the public hearing, um, that will be posted well in advance. It will be advertised well in advance and people will have the opportunity to come up and speak either for or against it or maybe uh, not even one or the other, just express their opinion about it. Um, uh, secondly, if um, they want to contact me directly, uh, my phone number is 508-399. 6549 for uh, if you want to contact me directly at home or you can call the office at uh, City Hall extension 3181 which is the City Council uh, office or you can uh, contact the police department and ask to speak to Chief Hegney um, uh, directly and um, even if he's not there he will get back to you or one of his uh, officers will get back to you and um, try to answer your questions.